Hi guys, welcome back to the home and homestead. My name is Rebecca and today on the homestead you'll be joining me in my kitchen and we'll be doing some cook with me using the Instant Pot. Together we're going to make some corned beef and cabbage. I've been using the Instant Pot to make my corned beef and cabbage for a number of years now. This is the only way that I make my corned beef because it results in a really flavorful, juicy and delicious corned beef. So follow along and see how we prepare this classic meal using the Instant Pot. All right, so for the corned beef, you want to pick up a two to four pound corned beef brisket and it should come with the little spice packet. We're going to save that spice packet and use it. But the first thing you want to do is take that corned beef brisket out of the packaging and rinse it under cool water to help wash off all that salty brine that's on it. Then you'll just set that aside and start adding things to the Instant Pot. So the first thing that we will add to the Instant Pot is its trivet. So you put that in the bottom of the liner pan. I'm using my eight quart Instant Pot today. Now on top of the trivet, we will place one medium onion that's been cut into quarters. And three cloves of garlic that's been minced. If you use the pre-minced garlic, it'd be about a teaspoon and a half. Now we're going to place our corned beef brisket that we've rinsed off with cool water and we're going to have the fat side up and place that into the Instant Pot on top of the onions. Now we're going to take the spice packet that came with the corned beef brisket and we're going to sprinkle that over the top of the corned beef brisket. Now we'll add one and a half cups of beef stock or beef broth and pour it along the side so that you don't pour off those spices. You just add it on top of your corned beef brisket. Another option is to use 12 ounces of Guinness beer, which I typically do when I make this recipe and it's really flavorful and delicious. So if you want to try that variation, I highly suggest it. Today we'll use the beef broth or stock because I'm going to be using leftover corned beef to do a number of recipes. So now we'll just plug in our Instant Pot and we'll add the pressure lid on. Close it. We'll turn the valve to seal. So we'll press pressure cook. You may have manual here as well. We want it on high pressure. We're going to set the time to 70 minutes, which is an hour and 10 minutes. Once the corned beef has finished its cook time of an hour and 10 minutes or 70 minutes, we'll let it do a natural release for 15 minutes and then we'll do a quick release with the rest of the steam. I like to use a little steam diverter when I do a quick release and I'll show you how I use that later. So now we'll let the Instant Pot do its thing and cook our corned beef brisket. All right, so the corned beef has finished cooking. So I have it on keep warm. That's why the L and the numbers are here. So we will do a 15 minute natural release. So I'm just gonna let it sit and I'll watch for 15 minutes to show up here. If you don't have it on keep warm, just set another timer for 15 minutes and that'll be your natural release. And once that time is finished, then we will do a quick release of the pressure. All right, so the 15 minutes natural release has finished. So I'm going to use my steam diverter and I'll just put it on the tab and back and turn it. So now this is called a quick release. So it's re releasing all the remaining pressure from the Instant Pot and we will watch for the little red tab to go down flush. And we know that all the pressure has been released, much like a pressure canner. There we go. So all of the pressure has been released now. Now I'll just remove this little diverter and we'll turn the lid and lift it off. Now what we're going to do is take the corned beef brisket out. We'll place it on a little casserole dish. And while it's still warm, we'll take a paper towel and wipe off all of those spices that we put on there from the spice packet. This is easiest to do when it's, when it's warm. So I try to do it right away and those can just be discarded. So in the Instant Pot, we still have 
that beef stock and beef broth that we put in there, as well as the garlic and the onions. So now I'll press cancel because that cook cycle has finished. So now I'll just take a little ladle and turn this trivet on its side. And I'll take out about a half cup to a cup of this cooking liquid. And after the corned beef has been sliced, you can just drizzle this on top of the meat and it'll help keep it nice and moist. So I'll just put the trivet back down and now we'll add our vegetables. So what goes well with corned beef? Well, cabbage, of course. We also have some carrots and I have red potatoes. You could do russet potatoes, yellow potatoes, but I think red potatoes work really well. So now we'll put the red potatoes. I have about four red potatoes and I cut them into large pieces. I just put them on the bottom. The onions and the garlic are still in there with the remaining beef stock cooking juices. Then I have four large carrots that I peeled and cut in half. Then you can do either do a whole cabbage or a half. I did a half a cabbage this time and I just cut it into wedges and place that on top. Now we'll just put the pressurized lid back on, put it to seal. Now we'll hit pressure cook on high and this time we're going to cook for three minutes. So this is just going to steam the vegetables and when this cook time is completed we'll do a quick release right away. Again we'll use the steam diverter to do that. So we'll let the Instant Pot cook our vegetables for us. In the meantime let's head over to the cutting board and we'll get our corned beef brisket all cut up. So we have our corned beef brisket here. And what you want to do is cut it against the grain. Meaning, you can see here, here's the, the grain of the meat going in this direction. So go 90 degrees to that, and that's the direction you want to cut. And you can just cut it in as thick of slices as you'd like. Now we'll just take this and put this back into a, a dish. There we go. So our corned beef is all cooked and sliced. Now here's that about a half a cup of the cooking liquid that I pulled out of the Instant Pot. Just drizzle that over the top. Now we'll just cover this with some aluminum foil. We'll let this rest and set aside until the vegetables are finished. The three minute cook time for our vegetables has finished. So now I'll put the steam diverter on again. Okay, the little red button has dropped flush with the Instant Pot cover. So now we'll remove that cover. And here are our steamed vegetables. So what I like to do is put the vegetables right into the casserole dish with the corned beef. So we can turn the Instant Pot off. Now plug it. We'll start removing these vegetables. We have some cabbage. Nice and tender and steamed here. carrots out. And that's why I cut the potatoes and carrots and the cabbage in larger pieces just so that they're easier to remove once it's finished. They're very soft and tender. Any leftover potatoes for this, these mash very nicely. Then just add whatever creams, cheeses, and seasoning that you like to add your mashed potatoes. They'd be great in a leftover meal. 
All right, let me plate some of this up and we can have a closer look at our corned beef and cabbage meal. Okay, so let's take a portion of this corned beef here. A little bit of cabbage. A couple of carrots. A few potatoes. We have a little bit of that cooking liquid remaining here. I'll pour that over in the casserole dish. You can pour it over what you're serving as well. And I just like to cover it with foil until we're ready to eat the day that I make it. You don't even need a knife. You just take a fork and peel some away. It's very moist and flavorful. This is a really classic meal and it's so easy and consistently well prepared in the Instant Pot as we did today together. So if you've ever made a corned beef and you found it to be really tough or dry or just didn't have a lot of flavor, you should give this method a try. This is wonderful to have on St. Patrick's Day, of course, but it's also a nice, wholesome and hearty meal to have any time of year. So keep watching and I'll make some more corned beef recipes with you for both breakfast, lunch and dinner. Also, if you find that you have leftover corned beef and cabbage, you can check out some of my videos on what to do with those ingredients to make completely different meals and appetizers. I have a video on Baltic supper, Reuben sandwiches, and Reuben egg rolls. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time together in the kitchen while we made this classic corned beef and cabbage meal in the Instant Pot. If you're new to the channel, I sure would appreciate you subscribing if you enjoyed this video in particular, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Take care.